Real Gaming XP making you a bigger, badder YouTuber. What is up, guys? It's the Upset Today. I can back with you once again, giving you commentary on UFC Undisputed 3. Uh, Mirko Krokop versus Lyoto Machida in Pride. <coughs> Excuse me. I apologize for that. Uh, well, okay, here's the thing. I want to talk about a fight that's coming up in May for Strike Force. It's. Going to be the uh, the finale, the conclusion to the heavyweight Grand Prix tournament at that Strike Force was holding. Um, what it was was it was Antonio Silva, uh, Fedor Emelianenko, uh, Sergey Terracano or Caratano, uh, Andre Avlosky, Josh Barnett, Alistair Overeem, and. Uh, uh, Fabricio Verdum, uh, well, it was all coming to a head on May in May against Josh Barnett and Daniel Cormier. And uh, my prediction for the fight, I see it, I see it going in favor of Daniel Cormier because Daniel Cormier has uh, he has good uh, ground defense. Uh, he doesn't have good ground game. He has good ground defense, which. He has very strong punches, and usually, um, when a when a puncher has a really good ground defense and it can hit hard, they usually are very hard to to uh, you know to to beat. And Josh Burnett, he's he's a striker, but he doesn't hit really hard. He's more of a ground game guy. He's more of a he BJJ Brazilian Jiu Jitsu fighter. With well, Daniel Cormier, what what he does is he he tends to jab his way in into a punch. He will jab you in the body, open it up, and then throw his hard punch and land it. And he's really quick too for for the for his uh, size and stature. But see, the problem is, is Josh Barnett is big for his size and stature, and he could. I, I guess Josh Barnett could run and. Uh, you know, do a tackle on him and get him down and try to, you know, submit him that way. But I just don't see it happening. I just, I, I think Daniel Cormier, Cormier has the upper hand here. Because he can get out of submission defenses, or get out of submission holds. And he could, he, he has punching power. So it, once he gets out and it gets a fight standing, he can swing as much as he, as he wants and connect and it would only take one punch one good punch from his uh hard hard uh hard haymakers to really knock out da uh, josh burnett i want to go for josh burnett because i liked him in pride but i just don't see it happening with with the way cormier i've seen cormier fighting this guy daniel cormier is a beast he has he hit he hit uh, Antonio. Antonio Silva has like the biggest chin, the, the the biggest chin. You look up pictures. Well, actually, as a matter of fact, look up the video. The search uh, Antonio Silva versus Daniel Cormier heavyweight Grand Prix. You will see this. The dude has a hard, thick chin. Daniel Cormier hit him with the uppercut so hard, it knocked him out and broke Daniel Cormier's hand. That's how hard he hit him. With the through the padded gloves, he still broke his hand because he hit him so hard. But that is the end of the game, and I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know what your predictions are. If you guys if you guys enjoy UFC, leave it in the comments below on the sports channel. I would love to read them. What what are your predictions for uh, Daniel Cormier versus uh, Josh Barnett? I've been the Abstract Zodiac. Thanks for watching, and I am is out. Peace.